hey girlfriends welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how i achieved these knotless box braids oh my god girl i am in love these braids come all the way past my butt and i'm 5'10 but i'm not going to take up too much of your time we're jumping right into this today so today i'm going to be using the expressions braiding hair and i picked up five packs of the color 425 it came with three bundles in each pack and i got 52 inches majority of my braids will be this color because it is the color of my hair I picked up one pack of the color bug and 52 inches, one pack of 30 and 52 inches as well. And last but not least, I picked up one pack of the sensational hair in the color vintage rose and I had to get 24 inches. Okay, so I'm using the edge booster edge control. I'm also using the edge booster gel. You'll need some black rubber bands and clips. And today I'm not using the thread rack. Um, it just doesn't hold enough hair for me. I always find myself having to redo it. So with this, I'm able to lay out all the hair at once and I don't have to worry about doing it again. And when I'm doing this, I'm laying it out flat and then I'm laying a piece in the middle of the hair, if that makes sense. I zoomed in, hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. But I just continue to do that until I'm all out of hair and then I'll jump into the braids. So a funny story guys, I started braiding my hair last minute and I wasn't done in time for our little staycation at the timeshare. So I had to come here with my hair half done. So now I'm just laying it out now on their um, table and I'm just gonna finish the rest of my hair here at the timeshare. But for the remaining scenes, I will be back in my home braiding my hair. guys don't be alarmed i am not doing the rubber band method i just like to pre-part my hair and put it in rubber bands that way when i go into braid i don't have to worry about straight parts the only thing i have to focus on is braiding my hair this did take me about an hour but it's definitely worth it again you don't have to do this step do what works best for you but this method works best for me Right, guys so i am all done parting my hair every single strand is in a rubber band i did do a side part so all my braids will fall from this point down there are no gaps everything is covered so i don't have to worry about parting or anything and i'm ready to braid okay guys so i went ahead and braided most of my hair off camera for this braid i'm starting off with the color 425 and i'm going to add the color 30 for this mix i did a few other um, braid mixtures not a lot i would say about 10 total where i mixed the colors in the braid so for this one it's 425 and 30. i also did one with the vintage rose and the um 30. i also did one with the 425 and the pink so whatever you feel just go ahead and mix it if you think you need to mix it um but it's not necessary i just did it because it kind of pulled everything together and just made it look more colorful when i mix some of the colors i do have some solid pink ones some solid 30 some solid 425 majority of these braids are the color 425 so i try to focus the colored ones on the sides of my head and in the back and in the middle but as i approach the top i used more red than the other colors um i just use them less often if that makes sense i wanted this to appear as like highlights with low lights i don't know but i really like how it came out it's really cute you can kind of see how it's blending well together i really like this color combination all right guys so now i'm just showing you guys the different mixtures i uh, put together it came out really cute and you want to make sure you cut those rubber bands off before you go in and braid. Do not rip those out of your head. And now I go in with my edge booster edge control and I apply that to my natural hair. And with this method, it's knotless, but it's technically not because I start the braid from under. Um, I do have a more detailed video on my channel on how I do this method. So I'll leave a link in the description box because my hands are like blocking my roots. I did try to zoom in, but it's just, you guys just can't see. But this video was more so to show you guys how I did the color combination, not really how to braid. So I'll leave that link in the description box if you want to see how I start the braid from under so it can appear knotless. 
Okay guys, so as you can see with this braid, I'm going in with the salad pink color. I absolutely love this color. Um, I have about 20 salad pinks in my head. I didn't want too many pinks. I just wanted like a little hint of pink. I didn't want it to be too much. But anyways, because this hair is 24 inches, you do have to extend it three times instead of the two. So I braid down to the ends and I feed in a piece and then I braid that down and I feed in another piece. So I'm gonna show you guys how I feed it in here. So then you wanna braid that all the way down and then when you get close to the ends, you want to add another piece. And I like to use the Edge Booster Gel on the ends of this hair because it just helps the braid stick together and it's less flyaways. All right, so now I'm going in with the color bug and I'm just showing you guys how I'm braiding. So you wanna start from under. It separates it from into three pieces and then you want to braid about two to three times and then you want to add a piece of hair so i'm adding that in and then i'm going to braid about two more times and then i'm going to add another piece of hair and sorry this is so complicated i have a hard time explaining how i braid i know you guys are probably like girl just shut up you can mute me i don't care as long as you you know as long as you're watching you can mute me girl i won't take it personal all right, so I'm just going to let you guys watch now, and then I'll jump back in if I feel like I need to. Okay guys, so that's pretty much all I do throughout my whole head. And I went ahead and finished the rest off camera at the timeshare. And now I'm just going through with the scissors and clipping any flyaways that are crazy. Um, this is so time consuming, so I usually just threw the front of my hair and the top. Now I'm going in with mousse to tackle any flyaways I may have missed, which I know I did. And I'm just going to apply that throughout my hair, all over the roots. And I'm going to massage it through the braids itself, all the way down to the ends. And that is it guys and I like this um, hair as well because it was so thin it was pre-stretched so I didn't even have to dip it in hot water which was good for me because I hate playing with hot water but anyway these braids are super long super cute if you have any questions again please leave a comment below I am here for you all right guys thank you so much for tuning in I love you bye